here's a great fight to go over. Not just because of the amazing animation or the score, but what it stood for. And also, I can't really talk about the animation because what else am I going to say besides, yo, man, this is gold, top tier, peak. You know, that's, that's all I can give you. Throughout the journey of Golden Wind, we get an idea of who Diavolo and Doppio are, or Doppio. But this fight is where we truly see what happens when their back is against the wall. As the leader of La Squadra Execuzioni, uh, Risotto is a full-on powerhouse. And you would think that this fight would go a lot easier with the abilities, you know, as ridiculous as King Crimson's, but you know, it didn't. And that that was that was something that was so that was so cool. And establishing that King Crimson has to work within this range to keep and it just keeps the viewers on their toes because the fight is now a dance between the two. You have this AoE risotto and a constantly maneuvering Dopio. One of the best things about this fight too is that Risotto isn't just a, a stationary combatant. He's not just waiting for the other person to come at him so he can just, oh, let me stop this there and just change it, like barely doing anything. But he's switching it up. He's keeping his distance. He's, he's going invisible, using his surroundings. It's amazing. Now, one of the things I've heard is that Diavolo pulled some BS, and I probably even said it too. And he wouldn't have won if he didn't do that, but you know, that is the exact point. Diavolo has had Bruno's group take care of every other member of La Squadra. He plays dirty because, well, you know, you gotta be honest, you know, unfortunately for the Diavolo fans that are out there and being like, oh, he's so fine, he's, he's dirty, he's a dirty dude, he nasty. Diavolo is one of the nastiest people to have existed in JoJo, and leaving the battle up to Naranja's Aerosmith? Come on, yeah, of course, duh, like that's 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 so in character. And you know, even with that in mind, you do have to give it to Risotto for whooping the combination of Doppio and Diavolo harder than any stand user besides Jorno with GR. There's a reason why I like Risotto so much. Araki had made this character into this complete battle tactician to show you that, yes, he is this leader of the assassination team for a reason. Doppio and Diavolo have not been out there the way that Risotto and La Squadra have been as of recent. They've just been doing so much just to get to the boss's identity. And Diavolo has been playing back for a reason. Diavolo knows Doppio's limitations, and he's also not trying to make him do things that would get the both of them killed. He highly plays into his abilities and the environment and hopes to get something over Risotto. And one of the things that supports Diavolo more than the other characters is, well, it's a lack of shame, if you want to be honest, and the fact that he has no fighting honor or no honor at all. He's always had no honor. Like actually, and he's fought in extremely scummy ways in general. That's just him. We even see him in the final fight, and in the final fight with Giorno and Diavolo, I guess if you could call it a fight, you really have to be honest that Diavolo really is a coward with a phenomenal ability. It's that's it's just the case. And Risotto puts that on full display with how badly he was destroying those two. The reason why Diavolo won is because he's able to do what others wouldn't do. This also tracks with the whole duality thing that Jarno and Diavolo have going with them because they're both two people that do things that the regular people and even the people above the regular people wouldn't do. And that's the reason why you see everyone be like, wow, Jarno, man, he's really going hard. Like everybody like in Bruno's group. And well, I guess no one has supporting Diavolo because he's alone, but yeah. These are hallmarks of excellence and terror, and this fight is just, it's amazing. It's a great fight, but honestly, okay, if I had to put everything else to the side to focus on one thing here, right, it would be definitely just to be like what each group represents. Diavolo with Doppio on the side are symbols of control and upholding the wrong that continues to plague the people. In this case, I guess this would be the status quo, but it's a little bit more nuanced than that. Well, I guess it is because the people of Italy in that time didn't want them to do what, you know, Diavolo and Dalpi are doing, but 
the case in point is that they just had that power forever so i guess that is the status quo at that point um but then you have la squadra and la squadra as cool as they are they're rebels who would uphold the same issues if we're being real la squadra and diavolo are on the same side where they disagreed was in like the allocation of drug money la squadra got paid for assassinations they're an assassination group duh what they wanted was a good portion of the money made from the drug trafficking and it's most likely because you know they're directly helping passione by doing their job by taking out who they're supposed to which in turn makes passione more profitable but they themselves don't see that profit that they're creating indirectly it is direct and then you have bruno's group that stands outside of the two the only actual opposition against the wrong that's happening there and they don't even completely oppose everything it's just that the trouble that those guys are causing is just one that they're against and they're the closest thing that we have to the good guys so there is the control rebellion plus control and then there's the group of change each group symbolizes a different power in the part and all of them exist in the Dopio versus Risotto fight. So it's like this clash of ideals damn near. But we know who succeeds in the end and then the end end. And you know, that, that's that. And I think that is one of the most interesting things about this, I guess, you can call it a three-way deadlock situation, but it wouldn't exactly be that. And I think that'll be it. I'd love to talk about uh, another fight or a dynamic, let's say a duo and all that. You know, that'd be amazing. I'd love to do a discussional video like that. Um, so leave a recommendation on what you want to see. Leave a comment like that. Um, working on bigger video, a Stone Ocean uh, kill count, but yeah. Uh, also, I plan to stream every friday and it'll be like interactive things you know and i, I want to do stuff with the viewers like a community made tier list you know uh, live versus talk maybe we'll get someone else on there or even live reviews because i love seeing what y'all have to say about all types of things you know hopefully i'll see you all in the next one until then peace out and godspeed